Nie? Good. Dobra komanda, dobra. Młodzież komander. Kontakt Confidence, concentration, coordination and command skills. These are essential on the battlefield, and as Russia's war in eastern Ukraine rumbles on for the sixth year, these British army trainers from the Mercian Regiment are putting a group of Ukrainian soldiers through their paces. As part of its basic infantry course, this is Operation Orbital. What we've just done then is we've done a, a basic, what we would call section attack. They adopted uh, one of the patrol formations which we've given them. I've given them a contact uh, and then they've reacted to the contact as we've taught them. Let's go! Once they're happy that they've uh, dealt with that enemy, they then start to withdraw. The Ukrainian soldiers also practice magazine changes while running, correct postures and stances for shooting and moving from bound to bound. This is just one exercise. Anticipating and handling a sudden enemy attack, delivering first aid to wounded comrades, or taking out enemy targets from long range are also part of the course. The guys are learning about all sorts of factors. They're learning about um, how the weather can affect their marksmanship. They're learning about the trajectory of the round, how they're going to have to aim off depending on what their, the range of the target is and their sight setting is. Um, and they're learning various processes um, for effectively zeroing in the weapon, um, effectively um, analysing each other's faults. Uh, in marksmanship. The British soldiers we met at a minesweeping exercise helped the Ukrainians identify and react to improvised explosive devices, clearing, cordoning off and controlling of suspected threats. This is all to NATO standards. The Ukrainian soldiers ask questions, critique themselves and each other and look for ways to improve. They're all keen to learn. It's, they're all brilliant and uh, there's a lot of interaction as well. Clearly that, that rapport and that relationship is, is really good. But learning is not a one-way street. The British side also uses the experience of modern day war to assess and evaluate their own tactics. The way the British Army conducts its defence is different to how the Ukrainians work as well. So, you know, for example, rather than long trenches um, like the Ukrainians use, we use small separate trenches and uh, the application is slightly different. But we're learning things about how they come up against snipers, how they come up against IEDs, different ways in which they've adapted to the threats that they're seeing that we haven't been able to, to identify or learn yet. Over the years, all the um, experience our guys have got, we're now able to help out the Ukrainians. It's really, really, they create a good bond over a five week period and good friendships. So it's, it's, it's interesting to see that the guys are treating them like friends and trying to teach them how to the skills and drills of being a soldier. Since 2014, Russia's war in eastern Ukraine has evolved from one of heavy artillery attacks and a fluid front line to tick-for-tack trench warfare. Some Ukrainian soldiers here were already deployed to the Donbass at least once. Second platoon commander Zalizhnak, who has seen combat in Shastia, Krasny Luch and other strategically important areas of the Donbass, says the training is hugely helpful. It's very interesting. There are a lot of new things. Over the past few years of war, a lot of things have been forgotten. Now we're having these drills, and it's a whole new level of training on tactics, firing, working with personnel. There are a lot of medical lessons which we hadn't practiced before. Since the UK established Operation Orbital in 2015, British personnel have trained over 17,500 members of Ukraine's armed forces. Land training like this is just one component. Following the Russian Coast Guard's attack on Ukrainian vessels in late 2018, more focus is being put on maritime training to help the Ukrainian Navy handle Russian threats in the Sea of Azov and the Black Sea. Operation Orbital itself will last until at least March 2023. Tom Bell from Zhitomir region, VUA TV.